Good day, this is Dr. Naveen Alexander and I'm a general surgeon and from we welcome you to RA Online. Today in our surgery module, we'll be discussing about daycare surgery. Now, daycare surgery has been around for some time and it is an important topic for us to be discussing because it will possibly become the norm for the future of surgery in general. So today in this talk, the contents of this talk will include an introduction, a history, different terminologies that we use in daycare surgery, the development of daycare surgery, what are the procedures that can be done in this, preoperative screening and selection of patients, what is the appropriate analgesia and anesthesia for these patients, what makes us decide that this patient should go home and what are the advantages and a brief conclusion. So going on to the introduction, daycare surgery is also called day surgery or same day surgery or day only surgery but one of the commonest terms that we use is ambulatory surgery. An ambulatory surgery is defined as a procedure which excludes an OPD or an office procedure where the patient is discharged on the same day. Terminologies that we use is office surgery or slash procedure which is carried out in medical practitioners professional premises which provides an appropriate design, equipped and serviced room for its safe performance. On the other hand, a daycare unit is a facility which is designed for the optimum management of an ambulatory procedure. We also have what is known as an extended recovery unit when you have patients who have had daycare surgery who are not very fit to be sent home the same day and these are purpose constructed and modified patient accommodation for the extended recovery of the daycare patient. So development of daycare, it has been around for 25 years and it has been more and more practiced in many countries. The growth has occurred as the benefits have been increasingly perceived by medical healthcare professionals, healthcare funders and as well as the patients. Largely, this has been facilitated by the developments of different surgical techniques which are more minimally invasive and better techniques in anesthesia and analgesia. Unfortunately, there is a large variation in daycare surgery activity between countries and in countries between the hospitals. So if you look at it, it is practiced to a certain extent in the Far East very well, then in the West as well. But in countries like India, we don't have very active daycare surgery practices. This is because we have social stigmas associated with it and we are also a little bit of fear of what might happen if the patient is sent home too early. Also, between urban and rural areas, it is always safer to be in a more populated area with better access to emergency health care in case something happens to that patient who has undergone a daycare procedure. So, what is the algorithm that we follow that when we decide the patient should undergo a daycare surgery? So the surgeon decides the patient needs an operation suitable for day surgery, screened by what is known as the daycare unit uh, nurse, assessment nurse who uses different questionnaires and guidelines. Then if there is further assessment, we send the patient to an anesthetist, whether any other investigations or cross consultations with other specialties is required. If the patient is suitable for day surgery at this point, the patient is given the date for surgery and the instructions to be followed. If it is unsuitable for day surgery, we speak back to the surgeon and say this patient is not fit for day surgery, preferably do a, a inpatient a care for this patient. If the patient is still going ahead with day surgery, then it is admitted to the daycare unit, a reassessment is done by the anesthetist and preoperative checks are done, followed by the surgery and then we, uh, at the end of the day, send the patient home and is the patient is followed up by via telephone. So in general surgery, what are the procedures that we can be doing by daycare? Day surgery should be considered the principal and no longer an alternative form of treatment. Okay, so it's of paramount importance that all patients are carefully selected, taking social, medical and surgical criteria into account. Social because you know, in a country like India, where you have many stigmas associated with hospitalization and the more the patient stays in the hospital, it is considered better. 
but if you are looking at a person who is contributing well to society and needs to be back on his feet in no time at all, these are patients you might consider daycare surgery. Naturally, taking into account what is the procedure that he is going to be uh, going through as well as what is his otherwise medical conditions. Is he a fit patient to undergo that kind of surgery, especially in a daycare unit? So, post-op care must be specific, but it should not be intensive should not be prolonged and should not lead to unexpected ad admission into the hospital. The surgery that should be done should have a very low risk of intra and post-operative blood loss. Preferably, surgery should be of shorter duration, lesser than 90 minutes, where the patient's pain can also be easily controlled. During the surgery, it is advisable to do as less damage as such, surgical damage as such, to prevent problems in the post-operative period which might necessitate the patient to stay inside the hospital. These include excessive traction, excessive manipulation, reducing the ischemia and completing the hemostasis. So what are the procedures that as a surgeon I would like to think of doing as a daycare procedure? On a routine basis, we do laparoscopic as well as open surgery in hernias as daycare. Uh, bottom surgeries can be done as daycare, like fistulectomies, lateral sphincterotomies and hemorrhoidectomies if they are not excessively large and the risk of bleeding is low. Breast surgeries, especially lumpectomies um, or just an excision biopsy can be done under daycare. Banding for esophageal viruses, you can even, uh, the, one of the biggest advantages we find in daycare is using it for laparoscopic cholecystectomy, where the patient is completely worked up comes early in the morning, has the surgery and goes home the same day. Fundoplication and ventral hernia repair, again, these are surgeries ideally which can be done under daycare but since there is some amount of pain in the post-operative period, not many surgeons choose to do these procedures as daycare. In pediatric surgery, majority of their surgeries which are uh, done are done by daycare. So these include inguinal hernias and hydroceles, circumcisions, ocuropexies, minor, small umbilical hernias, as well as diagnostic laparoscopies. Mm -hmm.